Streptocarpus is one of my favorite plants, and I constantly have need for more stock to give away to people that want them. The technique that I am demonstrating here was shown to me by Lyndon Lyon, a noted Gesneriad expert. It allows one leaf from a Streptocarpus plant to be propagated into 50 or more plantlets. I start by dissecting the leaf, removing the midrib of the, of the leaf. You can see where the veins meet the midrib is where the new plantlets will be formed. I start by sterilizing the cuttings in a Clorox solution. I soak them in the Clorox solution for approximately five minutes. After being sterilized, I rinse them in warm water in order to remove all the Clorox. I then make up my propagation bin with a propagation media of 50% perlite and 50% vermiculite. I moisten this and put it in a microwave for five minutes in order to sterilize it and allow it to cool. I then create trenches with a trowel and insert my leaf cuttings in the trench. Once all the cuttings have been inserted in the propagation media, I cover the box and put it under the lights for 12 hours to 14 hours a day for about three months. And in three months, you'll start to see the plantlets emerge. Once they start to form plantlets, I will take these leaf, each plantlet, and cut it with some of the parent leaf with a razor blade and pot it in my standard mix of one part perlite, one part vermiculite, and one part peat moss. I have also sterilized this media in the microwave for five minutes and allowed it to cool. You have to be careful not to cover the tiny emerging plantlet. I then give it its first watering with fertilizer. I use Peter's 20-20-20 at the rate of one quarter teaspoon to a gallon of water. I then place a plastic bag over the plant for about a month until it becomes acclimated to being in the new soil media. It takes about two years to create a fully blooming plant from a cutting using this method.